Hey, what's good, gangsters? It's another Friday, another game video, and we're going to be playing some Destiny 2 today, man. I'm a big fan of Destiny. Let me, let me just show you some of this stuff right here. Destiny, Art of Destiny. Got the Grimoire. I need to get Grimoire Part 2. Um, I need to get all that stuff. But yeah, we're going to dig in. I'm going to try to play a lot more. I haven't played in probably close to a year. Uh, but I need to get in. I think I'm item level like 750 something. Not great. Because <laughs> now it's up to like a thousand or whatever. So I don't know. I need to play more. But that's kind of what we're doing. That's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, just playing a little bit. About an hour's worth or so. I need to get back into it. Beyond Light comes out in like three weeks. Something like that. So I really need to prep up and grind out a little bit. So let's dig in. Without further ado, let's go play our hunter. Oh, by the way, yeah, you see my you see my tats right here. It gives you a little idea. But we'll talk about the tattoos, we'll talk about all that stuff whenever we get to playing. But uh yeah, let's get started. Oh man, here we are. Here we are, we're in destiny, as promised. <laughs> yeah. Look at me, 757. Ridiculous. Super low. Man, I haven't turned on Destiny in too long. Too long. Um, a lot has changed since I last played. Uh, if you've been a fan of the channel for a long time, we actually did an episode about Destiny 2 back whenever it first launched. No, it was before launch. Was it before launch? I don't know. Um, it may have been like open beta or something. So I've been a fan since Destiny 1. I've always loved Bungie. Uh, yeah, uh, I love the games. They play great. Uh, they look great. I love the art stuff. We'll talk all about that um, here over the next hour or so. Uh, but yeah, this whole game has definitely changed. <laughs> um, now there's like milestones and I still need to do all the Shadow Keep stuff. I haven't done any of that. I need to prep for Beyond Light. Um, just so much cool stuff to do, but it's kind of overwhelming just jumping in and seeing all the different things. Now I did do, I did finish the main campaign of Destiny 2, like the original campaign, the Red Legion, I guess, or the Legion or whatever they were called. Um, I remember doing that. Um, yeah, but now there's like quests, I'm, I'm, tracking yeah i'm tracking this one right here so every uh, i guess this is just introducing this stuff so there's like dailies now it's very mmo-esque which i can actually appreciate i like that um i like getting games that become part of my day if that makes sense like oh gotta check this like i check my mailbox in world of warcraft every single day um i'll post up you know um herbs or whatever i do auction house stuff or you know just odds and ends that i find while questing i'll go post them up and then the day after i like to check to see if i made any money so this similar type of thing this ebb and flow and destiny as well um yeah power level 900 uh i need to do that <laughs> um i should also actually i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna make both of these my tracked deals because I need to get better items, and I also need to do quests. So that's kind of what we're going to do this time. We're going to go between all the different places and and, and play some play some games, play some, play some Destiny. So let's go to the director. Let's go to the tower first, because uh, I think I got some, yeah, I got some mail. Oh, what is this? Oh. So yeah, let's go pick some stuff up. So big apologies to Doc and the boys, because <laughs> I have not done anything with my with the clan for at least a year, at least one year. Um. Oh, by the way, I'm using a new recording method right now. I have an AMD uh, RX 580, and I'm using the AMD the Radeon Relive relive thing it's basically uh amd's version of the geforce shadow play or whatever it's called 
uh, for the GeForce cards. So it's kind of built into the graphics card. And I'm kind of doing sound editing and post to, you know, make my voice sound higher or louder. And uh, I just really wanted the video quality to look pretty good. Um, but I didn't want it to do a lot of bad stuff to the frame rate. Uh, which, I do kind of have a low-mid gaming PC. If I were to put it there, it's like 12 gigs of RAM. Um, yeah, 12 gigs of RAM, an RX 580 with 8 gigs of video RAM. Um, uh, like an i7 4770. So, not, not the best gig, you know, not the best thing. But it's it's okay, and I like the fact that I can play crossplay on Destiny. That way, if I'm you know in bed or something like that, I can turn on the Xbox and kind of pick up where I left off. So let me talk to Lady. She kind of reminds me of the uh, lady from The Conjuring and that type of stuff. So we got different. Items like there's so much going on, I don't quite know where to start. Yes. Oh, hey, candy. Nitos hack. Hey. All right. All right. All right. Great. So let me. Is that a better? Six six. It is a better one. All right. Do that. Um, let's dismantle other ones. That way, I always just dismantle stuff. I don't know. It feels right to do that. It's probably not right. Fifty seventy-seven. Yeah, that's that's fine. Oh, and then the ship person. Yes. Not this way. Gotta go this way. So I recently did, it's funny, I recently did a little fan art piece of this character. Um, just as kind of a practice piece to do mood art. And it got a lot of likes. It got, got a lot of attention. Which makes me happy, you know. It, it's cool to have something that's like my character be somewhat popular because my character is a level 750 whatever um, Oh prime rewards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did get the prime stuff Thank you all. Cool Gotcha Right she'll treat you right Where gun hey dang I got some I got Some stuff bro that's cool. All right. Take care of I like it. Here. I also like the thematic Halloween, Christmassy looking party. lights and stuff around. Very cool. I like it. Sorry if I seem like slightly scatterbrained because yeah, I'm just trying to take this all back in and be like, okay, what am, what am I doing? What am I looking at? Uh, there's a lot going on. And also, um, <laughs> at a late night of signing autographs for the November BAM box, uh, which is really cool. You go to the bambox.com and get the November Geek Box. Your boy made some art. I'm signing like 4,000 art prints. I only got through one out of the four boxes, and that one box took me like seven hours. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to get any fingerprints on them. The prints looked beautiful. I didn't want to smudge anything so like I sharpied it up I actually went this morning after I dropped my daughter off at school and like bought six more metallic sharpies I'm like I'm gonna need these <laughs> for sure for sure but yeah excited about that um I think we can talk about what the IP was for that um but yeah they were like hey would you be interested in doing some officially licensed Mad Max Fury Road art. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. 
So yeah, I got a chance to make some uh, official licensed art of one of the best action films ever made. Um, I wanted to do some cool, like, portraity stuff. Um, they haven't revealed it yet, so I can't reveal it, but very fun, very cool. They gave me free reign, um, and I showed them what... It, it's always a nice feeling. I showed them what my idea was, kind of a general sketch, and their, the art team's, like, jaw drop. And I was like, oh, yeah, and they're like, oh, no, we could do this one. I was like, no, let me finish it. Like, let me <laughs> let me actually paint, you know, let me, let me get it done. But is this okay? And they're like, hell yeah. So I'm really excited to show that to you guys. So yeah, the here's all I gotta do. I gotta go enhance. Uh, okay, so let's do that one. I think that's on the European, the, the EDZ, wherever the EDZ is. Um, so that would be over. Do that, let's go, yeah. Go to orbit. See, I'm all caffeinated up right now and ugh, doing some of this. Hey, I went up one level point. Ooh, fancy ship. Rad. Okay. Got this. Destinations. Bam. And here is where Enhance is. Right there. Okay. So we're going to land right here. We're going to go talk to our boy. Um, is his name Devrim? Devrim K? Is that right? Does that sound familiar? We'll go talk to him. See what he's up to. See if he'll give us like a, hey, kill ten things. Because I'll be killing things. And any sort of bonus, you know, rep grind or anything like that, I, I'm all, always a big fan of. I like games where meters go up. You know. If that makes sense, so. <laughs> but yeah, so in the intro, I talked about, you know, I have a I have a kind of a deep respect and a deep love for Bungie and the Destiny series and stuff like that. And I actually got uh, got it tattooed. Um, I got the, the three different um, character classes and the Traveler tattooed on my arm. And the reason why is I can actually one-to-one -one think back at where my mindset was before I made the call to go full-time as an artist, um, which was always my dream, even as a little kid. I wanted to get paid to make cool stuff and draw and paint and like work with people on things that I cared about, like comic books and video games. And I, but I was never brave enough to do it. And I don't know what it was, but there was like this perfect storm of like, man, the Destiny stuff is cool. And then, you know, I got to meet and befriend uh, Paul Canavan, who's a Magic the Gathering artist. But he also did some um, amazing uh, stuff for Destiny. He, he did a lot of the direction of some of the story cutscenes and stuff. He, he directed those and produced them and did amazing work on them. And all of this started coming together okay, in Devrim K. Okay, there he is. Bounties, what do I got? What's this one? Fallen, kill 30, sure. With that. Public events, all right. And then void kills, let's get them. All right. So we've got those. So now we can just grind out a little bit. Uh, the public event, is it happening? Glimmer extraction. Okay. Um, but all of this sort of came to a head all at the same time. I was in my... A glimmer mining Shut them down. Here we go. I was in my uh, current job at the time. I, I was fine, but it wasn't fulfilling. Um, I, I knew I had to make a change. Some big changes were happening at the job anyway that I didn't really agree with. Not that I didn't agree with it, I just didn't like where stuff was going. I mean, COVID really did a lot um, as far as technology and education, and that's what I was in. Uh, I was a tech support guy. I was head of tech support at a college. And it paid well, it was great. Uh, worked with wonderful, beautiful people, had some of the best experiences in my life. But I was kind of done, and things were changing. So, 
Did we not defeat that one thing? Maybe not, but... Man, they are crushing it right now. Sorry, like I said, I'm like... Of like five mines right now. I'm trying to keep up with what's going on, but we're like, okay, next extractor site. I'm just gonna follow them. I don't. I can't even rem remember my button layout. That's how long it has been. R is reload. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Bro. Stop it. All right. Oh, joined. Oh, that's why. So it mixed the public event with a heroic event. I was like, why is this so crazy right now? That's a pretty pile of glimmer. Hold them off while I transmit this. All right. Sure. God dang. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh. <laughs> but yeah. Sorry, my. I'm all scatterbrained right now. Uh. This. What's going on here? Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, man. Yo, bro. Where are we at? Where are we at? I can't even keep track of what's going on. Hey, man. God, they're just killing stuff faster than I can even get it down my sights, which I guess is good. Um, so my super charge, I can't remember how to do my super. That's fine. I probably should have played this game a little before I recorded this, but I don't have a lot of time. So I wanted to play a little bit of Destiny, but also make content. Oh, there we go. So I did it. Whatever, whatever that was, I did it. <laughs> Loot. Thanks, man. Alright. Now, where were we? Okay, yes. Talking about the job. Talking about making big changes. Um, Bungie did something pretty interesting. And I kind of looked back at their trajectory as a studio. And it was like... It, it gave me... It gave me this sense of, like, almost courage. Because I thought, okay... Here is a team that is responsible for Halo, essentially, right? Bungie created Halo. One of the biggest IPs in the world, an IP that I've been thankful to kind of work with as far as like fan art capacity stuff and community spotlights and all that stuff. Um, now with 343 Studios, which I also love. But Bungie had one of the biggest things in the world and then left. You see what I'm saying? Like they, they completely just, just left to make the thing they've wanted to make, which is destiny. And that's a lot of courage. It's it's an interesting thing. Here are artists that are just true to themselves that they really want, they really want to do what they want to do. Um, they play by their own rules, that type of thing. Like they, they were part of Activision. They left Activision. They said, screw it. We're going to go essentially independent. We're going to be our own thing. And I had to tell myself, I had to like, I don't know, just like really dig down deep and be like, okay, what do I really want out of life? Here's a group of people called Bungie that are doing their own thing. They know what they got. They, they're doing it. I need to do that same thing. So what I wanted to do is I got a tattoo of all of the Destiny 2 stuff. One, because I just love the look and the way everything looks. But it, it was more of a creative endeavor. It was more of a, here are other artists living their best life, doing the art that they love, that they want to do, that they're super talented at. So I wanted that reminder. And I got the tattoo last year. And I wanted it, you know, I wanted to look at it every single day. 
and I knew that I was going to make the jump. I knew that I was going to make the jump to be an artist, to be an artist in the entertainment industry. And sorry, I'm like pacing around. It, it's funny if I'm talking on the phone, I do the same thing where I'll just like pace around and like do circles and laps, not running, of course, but like just walking around the house. Uh, but I, back to the point, I wanted, I knew I was going to make the jump and I knew that destiny and art and all that stuff was one of the main purveyors to give me confidence to know that it was possible and so big shout out to them that's also why i'll never not be a fan of staying in your church tower for this long hey what's up buddy what's up buddy hey good news hey 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 it's not just you hey hey stop it something different about these you stop it somehow that doesn't make me feel any better Oh, so I just need to get the samples. Okay. But yeah, it was funny. My wife and I were talking uh, yesterday whenever I was signing the first box of stuff. And she was like, in July, which is July 1st of 2020 is whenever I actually went full time. My resignation kicked in, like all that stuff. Uh, it's October. And I'm signing stuff, Mad Max official art. You know what I'm saying? Like, truly nuts. Hey, hey. guess what? Huh, there's a lot of you in there, bro. <laughs> Thank y'all. Okay, I got that sample. But like, how far, how far it's coming only like three or four months. So I, I, it's a hard road to grind. It really is. It's it's way different than having the cushy job and all that stuff. But like, whenever you do what you love, you don't work a day in your life. I know that's a trope saying, but like it's to me it's true. Um, I mean, I get to paint every day, and I get to paint stuff that people love. Like, I just got. It's funny the timing on this stuff because I got my first kind of viral art piece. Something I would truly call viral was a, a painting of Bly Manor, which, great show. If you haven't watched Bly Manor, you should. Um, very, very good. Mike Flanagan, he did like Doctor Sleep and Haunting a Hill House and stuff like that. Um, did some fan art of two of the characters, Owen and Hannah. And it, I think I called it The Chef and His Muse. And it has like, as of this recording, it has a. Uh, 5,000 likes and... Oh, okay. All right. There's something there in their is. ether. Traces of Cabal technology. Ether only provides sustenance. So it's weird. It's just... Life is weird, if man. It for some other like, follow your dreams. I don't know what the whole moral of this is. <laughs> I just wanted to relate this story back. There's something around here I can trace. something. Signature traces. Signature traces. button what one well, cloaked that's nice okay there we go oh damn so we're going down deep now yeah I just love the look of this game I wanted to do the game justice by making it look as good as possible, which is why I'm doing the AMD thing. Loot? Any loot? No. Okay. Oh. Alright. About to do the thing, man. What's up, buddy? There's the 
disabled. Alright. These energy barriers are throttling our communications. Whatever we're doing down here, we better do it fast. Say again? You're breaking up a bit. Oh, see, I'm getting C. I hit C for crouch. I probably should rebind my stuff. Hey, buddy. Nice invisible cloak you got there. We're gonna come over here, gonna grab you. And then come over here. A little basketball, a little blitz ball action. See, and I'm also a fan of, like, the AI. Hey, buddy. Hey. You need to calm down. He just needs to calm down. Get away from the explosive barrel. I knew he was hiding out. Oh. Hello. Oh. See, I like that he has a sliver of health left, so he was like running away. up the void charge. The Fallen need some kind of electromagnetic cage to hide what they're doing. No wonder we couldn't find the source. Stefan, do you still have their signal? No luck, Mom. We might have lost them down there. Thought I can go around the other way, but let's just do it like so. Oh, Captain. Did it not hit him? Oh, poops. Poops, McGee. Do some melee. Uh. Melee for your ass. Uh. Uh. Yeah, buddy. Swords in this game are great, by the way. Really good. Got some good armor upgrades, I think. Wrong button. All right. Hey, Ikora. Good to hear your voice again. What did you find? I'm not sure. Some kind of machine. It's enhancing their ether somehow. Yeah, this game's good, man. <laughs> like... I've been on a big kick of MMO stuff recently, so I re-upped my WoW subscription because of Shadowlands. Um, I played more Diablo 3, did some power leveling on that, got up to like Paragon level 300 this season. 
uh, I'm liking the, the, the games, the grindy games with quests and, like I said before, like you can set a, an agenda almost and set up, uh, just time to, time to do stuff, relax a bit, you know? Like I said, I am sorry that I'm all scatterbrained this episode. I do apologize. Um, just kind of relearning stuff, you know, about the game. There's a lot going on, but uh, destroy that. Is that right? Okay, ah, sure. Ah, the direct approach. Well, if it means they can't make any more of that stuff, I'm all for it. But the Fallen are resourceful. This isn't over. I must go and meditate on how to cool. end this crisis. So, that step's done. About the big picture, that one. Head back to the church, you two. Let's figure out our next move. New quest activity. So, I think... Oh, can't summon... Uh... that do I just like go back yeah fast travel out there which I probably could have just ran back and been just as productive but hey fast travel is an option might as well do that so yeah, I don't have a great gaming computer. You'll probably see some stutter steppies. Which, is, I'm pretty stoked about getting Xbox Series X. Right now, all I have is a regular Xbox One and a standard PlayStation 4. I didn't upgrade to any of like the Xbox One X or the PS4 Pro or anything. Um, so the new consoles coming out, I'm really excited about, I was a bit and I'm really excited that I get to play Destiny 2 on all of them. Alone out here, eh? Now, thanks to you, the Fallen won't cool. be making okay. any new enhanced. That one's done. Ether. But it's not quite time did for I get tea. That I they did not. Enough ether to have a whole pantry full of the stuff out there. The Fallen don't give up easily. Cool. And we've made them even more Got desperate rep. than usual. Got the Ingram. You might need to think outside the box a bit. Have any experience with that, do you? Got that rep. I dig it. Alright. Um, cool. Let's see if I'm at 7.58 now. Okay, that one's about the same. 7.65. Damn! Hell yeah! Sixty-three. All right. Yeah. Future imperfect. Yes. So probably someone's gonna yell at me in the comments, but I don't know. Should I dismantle all these things, or is there a reason to keep them? Or decision. Speed demon. That's cool. Land banner, class armor. We did that right. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Look at him. Look at him boots. All right. That's. Yeah. Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So a lot of the really like quick. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff about doing these daily type of games where you log in once a day and do that type of thing is you get really fast at doing things. But since I haven't played in so long, I'm still like, what button is this? I feel like an old man. I'm like looking at the keyboard and... I don't need that anymore. That's cool. 
well rested. See, and like back in the day, they didn't have rested XP. Like what? Appearance, new items. Oh yeah, my new emotes, I guess. Let's do... Cool. So now we gotta see what the emote is. Thanks, Devrum. Cool flare gun. Alright, so what is the next thing that I have to do? I need to... Okay, so did that. Yep. Did not do those. I need to do one more public event on the EDZ. I can do that real quick. See, that's the other thing. There's a bunch of carrot and a stick type things. Like, oh, I can just do one more of these, sure. Oh, and then if I do the public event, I can get this one too. You know, the past. God, look at this, like. And I know a lot of this is going to be put into the vault. So I feel bad for not <laughs> for not playing it. Um, you know, light quest, seasonal, play ones. Yeah. And I need to get Beyond Light. The only thing is I should probably just play until I get up to kind of, I guess, quote unquote max level, you know? Or, or get up to a decent item level. All right, so we got that. There's a public event. Where is it? Would you wait? Would you wait? What's up, buddy? Oh. Troll. Shooting his gun. Hey man. Let's all just calm down. Alright. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't mean to waste my oh no. Stop it. I didn't mean to waste my super. I didn't, I didn't think super and melee were the same button. good-looking game like this is the type of game that looks so good you want to go and spend a thousand dollars on a computer but I would rather just uh, get the Xbox Series X play it that way looks like the fallen are bringing in a glimmer drill keep a sharp lookout skyboxes in the business. It's ridiculous. Shut them down. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
that time to reload, but you know, whatever. Man. Man. Oh. Not a great move on my part. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Alright. I had to do another sight. <laughs> Stick you with a grenade, bro. One more extraction site. What's up, man? Yeah. Where is the extraction site? Oh, there we go. Take it easy. Where's the other one? There he is. You can start a patrol as well. Patrols are a little less frantic. Um, so if I go here... Actually, I don't need that. I need... Yeah. Quests. Got it. See? Oh, so close. 23. I only need seven more. Um, did I not complete... Enhance though? I quite love getting together with friends and like seriously, did I not complete it? I thought I did. I thought I turned it in with Duder. Or is it not is it just not tracking on that? On the little deal. See? I'm kind of an idiot because I haven't played in forever. What's up, bro? Looking for what something. I, what do I gotta do? Yeah, hey, ripped up again. That's cool. All right. Great. Great. I got a shader. All right. 
Okay. Um. Mind your rockets. So let me let me bring this up a little bit. Quests. Always nice to see a familiar face. Quests. Enhance. What am I supposed to do? I thought I. I thought I did it. Or the fallen rise again. What am I missing? Is it something stupid? It's probably something stupid. Quests. Don't want to abandon it because I did it. Seasonal playlist. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm probably looking right at something. Okay. Here's this. Alright. Sure. Did it. Yeah. Enhance. Let me go to M. Oh, I need to go over here. What's over there? Is it through this way? Okay, yeah. Okay, think outside the box. If I were several containers of artificially enhanced ether, where would I be? Keep it simple. The Fallen are desperate. They're trying to hide something. How did they do it last time? Well, they used a set of barriers to keep us out. I'm detecting one nearby. Let's go. Not that way. I guess it is this way. I guess I just go through the building. Oh, we go. Good looking game. a big barrier. No wonder I could detect it so far away. The bigger the barrier, the bigger the cache. How are you going to get it down? Don't overthink it. Go punch some pollen, see if they've got the key code. Let's do it. Be rude. There we go. codes. I think this explosive will work just as well. Then Cool. All right. Yeah, these these missions seemed a little bit more refined than what launched Destiny 2 had. Shoot it. Yeah. Oh. Hello, team. Hey, buddy. Stop it. Wanna have a sniper off, bro? I win. So I guess coming up here. No. Coming down over here.
But I wouldn't see you. I saw you. Hot shots, man. Oh. Got him. Hey, buddy. Dang. Wait, how did he get way up there? What the? Dang. This is a pretty good hiding spot. Another one, gotta plant this one. Barrier. I like how they were just there on the other side, just they saw me. They're like, oh god, he put the he, he put the bomb on it. Oh man, he's starting to shoot it. <laughs> Bungie has this awesome, uh, I don't know, they know how to make shooters that feel really good, and like how the, the shooting, just the guns feel great, they sound good, and, um, and like, I think I mentioned it on the World of Warcraft classic episode of West Plays Games, uh, last time, but Luke Smith, uh, lead, I guess, he's kind of like, there's a the, fallen the guy here. over at Bungie. I think I can brute force my way past their security, but not quickly. Um, no choice. You're gonna have to kick down the, the door. But he's guy. like the guy right Don't there, creative director, me. you know, executive producer, or something. Uh, big deal over there. He was super addicted to World of Warcraft. He's a scarab lord, um, all that stuff. So I'm glad he has that mindset and mentality and is bringing that functionality type stuff to Destiny. Um, very, very cool. Investigate the nearby barrier. Hey, man. What is that? Antenna? What do, what do they want me to look at? What are they... Is that a sign? Is that a symbol? Oh, wait. Over here? Yeah. Restricted. That's how you know it's going to get real. What direction are they going to come from, though? Okay. <laughs> that direction. Oh, why did I waste it? Oh, my God. I wanted to melee. I wonder if melee is the button next to... Oh. Hey, buddy. Calm down. What? Where is he? Haha, <laughs> there you are. Nice. Here's another one. Another set.
Slice and dice, bro. Let's go. Swords are real good in this game. My ether cash will do. Oh. We'll destroy those, huh? All right. There's nothing left in these cores. All the ether's been drained out of them. But there's another cache close by. I like uh, staying a little bit behind cover and then popping out, doing little pot shots. I don't know. That's how I play every first person shooter. So the fact that like Destiny kind of lets me do it, big fan of that. Big fan of that. Oh. I think I was trying to be saucy, doing a bunch of ninja moves. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought I was closer to him. Oh. Over here, anything? No, it just looks shiny. See, I get distracted by shiny things. And there's a lot of shiny things in Destiny. I've seen harvesters flying about the area. Bet they want some payback for the fallen stealing their stuff. I can relate. Alright, so... Red Legion will be around. See, and I love the way the architecture kind of goes in and out of being organic, and then you're in a building, and then you go down in a cellar, and then you come back out, and there's holes in the wall. Like, it all feels very, I don't know, feels like this was a place, and then throughout generations, it got sunken into, and very cool. Hey, now we're back out here. I know this place. Red 
Legion billboard thing. That's how we know we're coming to the right area. This must be the place, but there's no fallen. And the ether must be cloaked. <laughs> then let's get the neighbors to uncloak it. Why don't you send up a couple of flares and see how some Red Legion shock troops shake things up? Let's say. Oh, lost his cash. Come up here. Pretty good vantage point. Oh, guess I have to do that over here too. Nice little double jump. So cool. Oh, damn. Yeah, I could paint this type of stuff all day. <laughs> like looking at the colors and the lighting and just. Ah, oh, game looks so good, man. Destroy the ashes. Oh, did they see me? Several. That was not great. Yeah, that's it. Just keep running straight into these. That's fine with me. I can get behind the Fallen and the Red Legion fighting each other. Like, that's... Stuff like that's just awesome. Oh, don't mind me. Hey, man. I was just watching. No harm. I come in peace. I actually don't come in peace at all. Dang. Krog. Krog. Triumph. That's cool. Okay, I did a thing. I don't know what that thing was, but I did it, man. Okay, so two. Oh. Oh, hey. They got some stuff over there. There's three. All right. You main. Oh, got caught in the tree. Can't get caught in the tree. It's an amateur mistake. Got to take out Krog. <laughs> yeah. What happened to your Krog, bro? You did that loot? Sweet loots. And then let me go ahead and blow up the ether cache. To tell with all the cloaking, but I think we got it all. Seems likely. I just caught a glimpse of a servitor headed for the mines. Never seen one like it. Ten glimmers says that's the one making all the modified ether. 
Don't miss this chance, you two. Okay, oh, just I think let I us see. Enjoy this one for a minute. I think I see what this is. So, um, Enhance is a group of quests. It's not just a single quest. Here I thought I was just like, oh, okay. I'm just going to do the one quest. Uh, kind of be done with it. But that is not... That is not what this is. Um, there's the arms dealer strike. Yeah, enhanced quest. So that's even more right here. Um, yeah, so I still need more to do. Uh, did that one. Cool. Let me go to... Go to map. Go back here. Then we'll go uh, turn in some more rep at Devrim K. We'll get some more things, and then we'll probably call it. I think that's good. Um, played a little bit longer than I thought I would, which is actually a great sign. I always like, <laughs> I always like whenever I start getting into a game and then it goes well. See, and like there's this type of slowdown, there's just so much happening on screen right now. I can tell my computer is, mainly it's a workstation now, instead of a big gaming rig. But that is why I'm excited about the new consoles. Um, can't wait to kind of have Look HDR and all that stuff. I don't even have a 4K TV yet, you know. Alright. So there's that. Um... So thanks, Devrim K. Well, let's grab that. Let's Nobody's grab that. Let's grab that. Um. Good luck. Yeah. So I should probably just quest it up. Let's see what my item level could be. So there's a hand cannon. See, I keep right clicking to uh. I keep right-clicking to try to dismantle stuff, but I need to hold F. That's out. Don't need that. Don't need this. Don't need... I'm gonna keep those. They're comparable, so just to give myself options. That. This, sure. 750. Damn! Class armor. Heck yeah, man. Don't need that. Don't need that. Alright. And all the rest of these are fine. Alright, so then like collections. So I like that there's oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> I've only seen 140 something out of the 500 plus, 400 plus weapons. But I like the fact that you almost have like an encyclopedia of everything. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> I've seen five out of 280 exotics. <laughs> 33 out of 310 mods. So when I say I don't play this nearly enough, this is this is proof of that. So season rank number one. 2,825, I guess that's like whatever points. Um, yeah, I might even do another episode of this now that I've kind of gotten into it a little bit more. Um, like doing PvP and things like that, because I can see myself playing a lot of this. Um, especially, yeah, just games like this. Um, what's so great about Destiny is, yeah, you can buy different expansion passes and season passes and stuff, but genuinely it's free to play. Um, I have bought all the way up to Shadowkeep, 
Um, I did purchase that, and I'm gonna get Beyond Light as well. Uh, but there's just so much to do and so much to collect and look out for, and um, it's a really cool game to just get in there, get to messing with it. Um, but yeah, so so here here's my here's my duder. Call him, you know. <laughs> I want a fire team. Sorry, I didn't mean I wanted a fire team. But I'm gonna sit right here. Um, yeah, this is the character that's in that piece of fan art called, um, Hunter's Pilgrimage, I think. So, man, Destiny's so much fun. Uh, big shout out to Bungie. Kind of giving me that confidence boost, um, just by proxy. Um, they did their own thing, I wanted to do my own thing, and it's worked out really well. Um, it's challenging, um, I know a lot of Destiny stuff and people not liking certain parts of it but really liking other parts and the development and all that you know with covid and a lot going on um so not only is the development of destiny tough but worth it um the whole art career stuff is tough but worth it so in a weird way i kind of personify my trajectory as far as my career to bungie and destiny and all that stuff um so a special place in the heart. That's why I got it tattooed on my arm so I can look at it anytime I'm feeling down. I can just look there and be like, hey, there's a company out there. There's a set of passionate people out there making things happen their own way. If they had something solid, they had something confident, they could just have been with Activision forever and done like whatever sort of like DLC packs and cosmetic items and sell them on the cash shop type thing. But they decided, hey, we have our own ideas. We're going to do our own thing. We're going to fly independent. And that's sort of what I did. I got the inspiration. So anyways, that's enough rambling. Hope you had fun watching me be terrible at Destiny and not understanding how things work. <laughs> I promise you I play I, I play games better than this sometimes. But like I said at the very beginning, that Wes is terrible at all video games. And this is no, this is no different. But that's my time. I hope you guys had fun. We will see you very, very soon with another episode of West Plays Games. Peace.